Ensuring that your home has proper ventilation is an important part of keeping it healthy because the air inside your home can have two to five times higher levels of pollutants than the air outside. To reduce exposure to harmful indoor pollutants, the EPA recommends the use of exhaust fans that are vented to the outdoors in the bathroom and a range hood in the kitchen. Make sure that they're cleaned frequently too, so they do their job effectively. This tip brought to you by Brown Newtone, bringing fresh ideas home. The biggest detriment to these units is the buildup of dust. Once every season, you should carefully remove the grill cover and using a vacuum hose with a soft brush attachment, vacuum out the dust inside the housing, on the fan blades, and especially on the heating element. While the grill cover is off, either vacuum the slots or wash it in warm, soapy water. Make sure to allow sufficient drying time before replacing the grill cover. Installing the Brone Newtone Speaker Module in Brone and Newtone QT Series Fans and Fan Lights. The Brone Newtone Speaker quickly mounts in Brone or Newtone brand QT fans or fan lights in a few easy steps. To get started, remove the grill from the fan housing. If you have a fan light, disconnect the electrical harness for the light first and then completely remove the grill. Using the right mounting hardware for your fan model. All hardware is included in the speaker kit for fans, with either a flat or raised motor mount. The flat motor mount installation requires an included auxiliary bracket. Installation in fans with a flat motor mount. On fan models with a flat motor mount, position the auxiliary speaker bracket next to the pre-installed bracket. Partially install two 3 8 inch long screws through the larger holes in the speaker bracket and into the threaded holes of the auxiliary bracket. Adjust as needed so the ends of the screws are flush with the bottom surface. Now insert the speaker into the fan housing, making sure the hook portion of the speaker bracket engages the bottom edges of the fan motor opening. Make sure the speaker is as close to the wall of the fan housing as possible. Then tighten the two partially installed screws to secure the speaker bracket to the auxiliary bracket. Insert the other two 3 8 inch screws into the auxiliary bracket and turn until both come into contact with the sheet metal bump in the fan. Then alternately tighten the screws. Installation in fans with a raised motor mount. On fan models with a raised motor mount, partially install the two 5 8 inch long screws into the threaded holes of the speaker bracket. Adjust the screws so the ends are flush with the bottom surface of the speaker bracket. Now insert the speaker into the fan housing, making sure the hook portion of the speaker bracket engages the bottom edges of the fan motor opening. Make sure the speaker is as close to the wall of the fan housing as possible. Turn the two screws that were partially installed until both make contact with the fan partition plate, then alternate tightening of both screws. Electrical Connections Disconnect the fan motor power plug from the housing power receptacle. Then insert the speaker plug into the power receptacle. Connect the fan motor power plug into the speaker harness receptacle and if needed reconnect the light harness plug. Reinstall the grill and you're ready to pair your Brone Newtone speaker with your smartphone, tablet or other device. The InVent series from Brone is the new patent-pending series of mid-range ventilation fans. InVent gives you the flexibility to handle new construction and room-side retrofit installations from one hard-working product line. Before you begin installing, switch the power off at the service panel and lock or mark the disconnect with a warning tag. Once you remove the InVent ventilation fan from the packaging, remove the blower and wiring panel from the fan housing. In new construction, first attach the damper and duct connector to the fan housing. Push the connector through the opening from the inside of the housing. Engage the tabs and secure with the screw included in the parts bag. When mounting the housing to the ceiling structure, ensure that the bottom of the housing will be flush with the finished ceiling. For proper location, use 1 half inch ceiling material. Bend out the housing tabs to fit against the bottom of the structure. Secure the housing through the mounting ears on each side of the housing with appropriate fasteners. If mounting housing to an eye joist, use wood blocking. Connect 4 inch round duct to the duct connector using duct tape. Next, you will connect the wiring. 
Bend the wiring access tab to expose the desired access hole. Run the existing wire into the housing. Connect the power cable to the housing with appropriate UL approved connectors. Connect black to black, white to white, and green to green or bare wire. Reinstall wiring panel and secure with screw provided. Slide the blower into the clips on either side of the housing. Secure the blower with the screws provided. Plug blower into black receptacle. The grill will be installed after the ceiling has been finished. In a retrofit installation, first determine if you must expand the hole. If necessary, enlarge the ceiling opening to 9 and 3 quarter inches parallel to the joist by 10 and a half inches perpendicular to the joist. Be sure not to cut through any ducting or wiring. Remove the old fan and the ductwork and wiring. Leave the existing ductwork and wiring in place. Fold mounting ears flat against the housing. Bend the wiring access tab to expose the desired access hole. Insert the housing into the hole and secure. Pull existing wire through hole. Connect the power cable to the housing with the appropriate UL approved connectors. Connect black to black, white to white, and green to green or bare wire. Install the wiring panel and secure with screw provided. Pull existing duct through the hole in the housing. Connect duct to connector with duct tape. Fit duct connector into housing. Engage the tabs and secure with the screw provided. Install the blower into the housing and secure with the two screws provided. Plug blower into black receptacle. Squeeze grill springs and insert into slots in housing. Push grill up against the ceiling to complete the installation. 